to media, to public, the daughters of Chief Minister Jairam Thakur, just because even we have never seen them uh, while covering the campaign, and first time uh, they both are here on the camera. And in fact, the most interesting part is that they both are doctors. They are following the line of the mother. And in fact, we welcome you both on the Republic TV. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, uh, I mean, you are doctors, and today you are going to cast your vote, right? So, do you have the importance? What is the um, uh, how voting right is very much important for every citizen of India? Yes, I think it's very important for everyone to vote mm -hmm. because if we vote, then only we are uh, doing something for our nation mm -hmm. as well. So. so, I just wanted to uh, know that uh, either you are pursuing your uh, degrees of uh, doctor or you have completed. Uh, I'm still completing. I'm in my fourth year of MBBS. And you? I've completed my MBBS. Right. And you are just following the line of the mother, not father? <laughs> yes. So you don't like your father is doing politics every time and campaigning and asking the people to vote for the BJP and support for the BJP? I think it's a big responsibility for him as well. Mm -hmm. So we really appreciate what he does, mm -hmm. but <laughs> we are not following his line. So you have never joined his campaign locally or outside the Mandi or your town? No, never. We've just supported him from afar. Yeah. So you, are you both aware that what your father had done in last five years and either the people are considering that work? Yes, I think. Mm -hmm. And it will, I think it will really show mm -hmm. with the voting today. Mm -hmm. So what we have witnessed in the Himachal Pradesh that uh, women are very much active in any field. So have you ever questioned or confront or counter your father or any issue of Himachal Pradesh? No, I think he's got a right hold on um, everything, uh, be it women's issue or development or anything. So I think uh, he knows what he's doing. Uh, we've not never quest uh, not questioned him, but obviously praised whatever he's done till now. So even there must be some kind of political discussions in the home as well. So have you ever participated into that political discussion? No, not really much. Not really? Not really. Not really. Yeah, we avoid political <laughs> discussions at home. You know, what I, why I'm asking so much questions to you, just because there is, in the politics, especially uh, in the big political faces, there is a trend of dynastic politics. I mean, after father, their children are following the line, and you people don't have any kind of interest in politics, not now, n neither in the future? No, I don't think so. No, no I don't think so, too. Seriously? Yeah. So my last message is that, are you uh, wishing your father to be repeat as a chief minister of Himachal Pradesh? Yes, we would hope that. Uh, we would really hope that. Mm -hmm. yeah, of course, we're hoping for that. Mm -hmm. so if you well, all right. That was Amandeep, of course, having a quick word with the daughters of the chief minister over there who uh, will also be making their way to cast the ballot. Amandeep, to you back uh, now. Uh, Amandeep, uh, uh, I, I think you've moved from the chief minister's house now. So give us a sense overall of uh, what are the big issues that people will be voting for. And uh, obviously, we've seen the focus on women voters for the BJP this time. The percentage of voters, uh, women who voted, was about 79%, uh, while you know men lagged behind at 70% last time of uh, you know uh, people who could actually vote. So in that sense, uh, is the BJP and all other political parties also focusing on women's issues more? Well, absolutely. No, but the point is that in Himachal Pradesh, the females are taking an independent stake while casting their vote. And that is the reason BJP has released a separate manifesto for the women. And even the Congress has also made some promises for the, especially for the women with the freebies also that they will, Congress government will provide them the 1500 rupees per month to every woman of the states. Just because everybody knows, every political party in Himachal Pradesh knows that females are the one who actually and actively participate in the election campaign as well and even while casting their vote as well. The percentage of the casting the vote uh, in Himachal Pradesh that always go far beyond the men and that is the reason and in fact the most important point is they take their decision independently. They don't follow the line of the family. If the husband is casting the vote to a one political party it is the choice of the female that she can cast the vote to the another political party. No, they do not not vote under any kind of pressure. So right. that is the reason every political party has fo completely put their focus on the female voters. And even in the House of Chief Minister Nupur, 
three females are there two daughters one wife they all are doctors uh, 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 small daughter was was pursuing the degree yes. of mbbs and even mother and yes. uh, elder daughter they both yes. are they both are doctors but they have not, never indulged into the politics of the bjp or chief minister jairam thakur they always follow the line of their own professions and in right. fact their own right amandeep and stake to caste absolutely amandeep well. we did if see that interview are, that you had uh, with the two daughters i'm going to go across right now uh, back to tanisha uh, tanisha uh, you are at a polling booth right now is it picking up already because uh, usually in hill states we see that polling big, uh, you know a large number of people do turn up early in the morning so uh, is it already picking up Uh, right, rightly said. Uh, we we came here at the polling booth at 6 a.m. in the morning because we were not sure about the timing. But when we came here, it was told that 8 a.m. is when the polling will start. Until 7:30, there were no sign of people. But as soon as it turned 7:50, there was there, there there were people coming in from uh, from everywhere, from far off places. And I would just like my camera person to show that that the pace has already been picked up by people here. Uh, they're coming here, and I would just like my camera person to show. the terrain also that's there it's a very hilly terrain uh, it, it's all fog here it's extremely cold uh, almost almost 10 degrees celsius but yet the spirit of the people does not uh, does not uh, you know uh, 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 go beyond beyond this this extreme weather it, it, it is the voters that have been coming in since 8 am in the morning and the pace is picking up and what we are getting to learn is that uh, uh, by afternoon is when uh, we will see a spike in a number of voters here we've already talked to some of the voters here who have pointed out that employment and employment and education the younger the youngest voter here we who we talked to also pointed out how uh, how education girl education is is one of the prime importance and issues that most of the people will be casting their votes on will be 